What's up guys? I know it's been a minute since I've talked to you, but um it's been a little crazy for me. Got laid off where I was at. The job little job that I was working. Um been kind of busy trying to find work. Um but in the meantime, I bought me a hoopty. As you can see behind me. It's kind of bright out, so let me walk on this side of the car so you can see bought me a hoopty for those that know it's a Saturn Aurora XR now my situation when I purchased this car um, this was not the car that I had in mind um, I thought that me and my fiance was uh, breaking up. My other car that I had got totaled. And um, this was the car that I thought I needed to move out of town. That didn't happen. Me and my fiance, we decided to work it out. We're staying together. And I'm stuck with that which really really sucks I'm grateful that I have the car but I don't want it I want what I originally wanted which was either Saturn Sky or Pontiac Solstice which I know some of you was like what the hell is that or why the fuck would you want that well excuse my French but um, that's what I wanted that car has a lot of potential. It's a lot of, it's a few companies out there that make some great parts for the car. i um, done my research and I love the way the car is. But I need to get rid of this before I can get that. So in the meantime, um, when I purchased the car, my dumb butt, because I felt like I was desperate, I purchased the car without a title. So, now there's a process that I have to go through to get the title. I have to get the vehicle inspected. Not just a regular inspection for the title inspection, but an inspection for by the cops. So that they can look it over, make sure it's safe, and then you go through the title part. Um, in Texas, there's only two places to do it. There's a place out in Denton, and there's a place out in Hutchison. I already have my appointment to get from the place down at Hutchins, Hutchins, Hutchinson, Hutchins, I don't know how to freaking pronounce it. You know, understand what I'm saying. I have my appointment there to get that taken care of. And uh, she has insurance. And then, uh, yeah. So there's a few things wrong with the car. Crack windshield. Easy fix, 200 bucks. Um, the Speedo doesn't work. I'm hoping it's a Speedo sensor. 70 bucks, I can change that out myself. Um, sunroof doesn't work. I think it's the switch. I'm hoping it's the switch. I've already got a price on that. It's about 70, 80 bucks for the switch. I don't know if I could do that myself. We'll see. Um, But honestly, it's not what I want. Um, if my son gets his driver's license in time, because I'll give the car to him, and if he doesn't, then it's gone. And we'll just work on getting him something else at the time. But, um, car runs great. Engine is strong, transmission is strong. Um, but like I said, it's not what I wanted. It's my hoopty. My fiance call it a uh, expensive hoopty, but it's not. I pay eighteen hundred bucks for the car. Um, to me, that's a hoopty. Um, for eighteen hundred bucks, you get what you got. Um, so, see what my my son got time between now and the time I get the title. If he get his permit, we'll see. But if not, she's gone. And uh, I'll get what I originally wanted. 
so to all those that see this video Merry Christmas I love you guys I hope you guys continue to support me and be patient with me on these videos um, they will be coming out a little bit more frequently now because I'm not working so I could uh, do what I've been wanting to do drop you know try to do a video every day or a video every other day starting after the new year actually no starting after Christmas we can do that then I'll on the week of the holiday I'll take a break but um but yeah this is my hoopty I love the blue on it though yeah but I will be notating the process of which you have to go through to get a title here in Texas there's a process you have to do if you buy a vehicle without a title or you lose your title um, or be dumb enough like I did and purchase a vehicle without a title I'm grateful but it's not what I wanted it is what it is I'm grateful. Thank you, Lord, for providing me the vehicle that I needed at the time, I guess. I'm assuming. You know, you always have a plan, and we don't always understand your plan. But you do allow us to make dumb mistakes like this one. And I can't see my hand. Dumb mistakes like this one. So, I'm trying to do this all in one take. I don't want to do a lot of uh, editing. The interior, let me guys show you what that's like. Hold on. It's pretty nice for a car with 160,000 miles. Oh, I have to buy the key file. The little key thing for it because this is all I have. And with General Motors, um, oh, also... The doors are weird. Um, they don't lock and unlock like they're supposed to. I can unlock the front, thank God. Okay. But that's it. You get your bong bong. But let me flip this around so you can see the interior. And this is the interior. Seats are in great condition. Great condition. Got stuff in the back seat. Panoramic sunroof. Great, great condition. A lot better condition than what I've seen a lot of cars with half this age. But like I said, there's some stuff that's wrong with it. Turn this down. Speedo doesn't work. Like I said, I think it's a speed sensor. It goes up to about somewhere between 20 and 30. Doesn't match the speed. Uh, check engine light. I think that's an O2 sensor. I'm about to go get that looked at. Since I'm not keeping it, I'm not putting new tires on it. So I'll probably just get a used tire and throw it on the back. You know that's what we do when we uh, low on low on funds. Um, but uh, that's it, you know. She, I think she was fully loaded for the time. For the time back then, I think she's fully loaded. 2007 but um engine strong the 3.6 VVTi it's a strong motor 
transmission is good, 6P. The paddle shifters, and they don't work like they're supposed to, I think. Um, they seem to go down, but not up, which is weird. Because they got plus signs on them. So maybe that's something the previous owner screwed up, I don't know. Crack windshield, that'll get taken care of. Um, but honestly, I think she's gone may sell her for what I paid for it plus the price of getting the tag done um but like I said this is not what I want you know my fiance is teasing me now cause she was like you were so close you were so close you were right there but you know it is what it is when we're in the emotional place that I was in we make decisions and I would say I made a probably not a smart decision at that time because we're still staying together but it's a decision I made nonetheless but anyway let's see if I can flip this without turning it oh gotta stop it but um that's the hoopty this is the hoopty I will be processing, documenting the process on getting the title done, letting you know the steps that you have to go through to get a title um, in Dallas, Texas, or in Texas in general. Um, so until the next video, um, probably won't make, I'll make another video later on this car, um, but my appointment is on the 9th, um, so that would be the next video in the step of um, the step of getting the title for a non-title vehicle in Texas um, so until then Merry Christmas Happy New Year I love you guys hope you guys continue to support me we're gonna make this thing happen I'm sorry I'm looking at myself in the camera and I'm not looking at the actual camera itself I gotta get used to that should be used to it by now but I'm not anyway until then love you remember like subscribe hit the videos there's more videos behind me and there's gonna be more coming forward and like i said i love you guys be safe be quick burn rubber baby we out of here later